it seems like you're all having good experience living in host families because students that are coming from our program this summer, they're gonna have they they're gonna live in the host families. Would you support this idea or? I mean, of course. If you're if you live in a dorm, say with maybe with Russian students, but. Even them. I mean, you, if you live with a host family, you're going to experience Russian culture at its... I mean, the, the people you're living with aren't going to be the wealthiest people in Russia. They're not going to be the poorest people in Russia. They're going to be the average Russian. And that is the way, the, I, I feel like, the best way to experience the true Russian soul, the Russian family, what, what Russian culture is all about. Absolutely. It's, it's definitely strange coming from America, you know, the dorm mentality, you live by yourself, you buy your own food, you know, you buy your own gas, whatever. And then you come here and they're feeding you, you know, two times a day, three times a day. But it's really like your language is going to, your Russian language is going to increase exponentially. You're going to understand what, like, who Russians are at their, their I guess, at their essentials. They're not, they're not to impress, they're just there, you know, trying to help you live. And it's, it's really cool. I mean, it's, you, don't, you can't experience that any other way. It's the only way to experience it, actually. Hey, well, our, our housing coordinator is... Do you speak English or English? Yes, I speak English. Our housing coordinator who works with us now is my old host mother. And um, so she... I mean, I know in fact that she is an amazing woman, amazing host mother. Um, but what she does is she tries to find host families that will fit with our students based on the, the information that they give us before they come, you know. So uh, if somebody is a hockey player, then maybe there's somebody in the house who plays hockey or like if the student likes to play the piano, maybe there's a piano in the apartment. So we try and try and make it more of a comfortable fit. Um, but I would say that the that the study abroad experience is not complete without a without a host family experience. Um, I, I, I worked at CIE for a long time before I moved here, and our study abroad programs where there are host families, the language acquisition it goes through the roof, as opposed to programs where people just stay in apartments or they stay in some sort of dormitory. Because every day, no matter whether you like it or not, you're going to have to speak Russian at breakfast, you're going to have to speak lunch at speak Russian at dinner because your host families don't speak English they don't for the most part I mean there's a few that we have that we put with students who don't speak any Russian because we have two programs we have the language program and the Russian area studies program um, but even those families that speak a little bit of English they try as best they can to move the student along and have to speak in Russian as fast as they can because they understand that the reason why the student came here in the first place no matter what they say were their goals it's to learn the Russian language. And it's such a, a rich, full, like complete language. And to, to, to have that student feel that they can actually complete a conversation, have a conversation in the language at the end of the semester when they came here and didn't even know the alphabet is amazing. And the host families know that, and they know that we know that, and we know, they know that the student knows that. And it's it's, as far as self-fulfillment is concerned, like that's that the the max that you can. I mean, like Brent, for example, like when he first came here, his Russian was good, but by the end of the semester, it was like I could actually I could joke around with him, speak like slang and you know <laughs> other <laughs> not gonna talk about mod, but I mean he, he he knew things that that an average American student would not ever learn in any sort of classroom in America, you know so. My host family when I was here last year, it's like, I first got here and I was really nervous. I was like, man, I was living not in the center. I was like, yeah. way Kirza. outside of the center. I was like, Kirza. 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 Hopefully Kirza. none of you know what Kirza is. <laughs> <laughs> but I was way out there and I was Kirza. like, man, Kirza. 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 I was like, man, what's going on with this? I've got two, two host sisters, a host grandpa who survived the blockade, and a host mom. I'm like, what is going on with this? And I'm like, you know, whatever. So I developed this insane relationship with them, and like over the course of the year, I helped them rebuild their whole apartment. I helped them do all this stuff. I went out all the time with my whole sister; it was great. And then, like in the summer, when I left, I skyped almost every single day with one of my host sisters or my mom. Like my real mom knows who my host mom is. Mm -hmm. Like they know each other. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. They don't speak the same language, but they know each other. I was like, it's, it, it's just purely amazing what, what, what's going on with this. Yeah. And like now that I'm back in Petersburg, I still see my host family all the time. I go over to their house at least once a week. Mm-hmm. Sometimes even twice a week. It's beautiful. But you probably had some difficulties at first when you came. What were they? For how long did they last? For how long did you feel uncomfortable? Did you have troubles ordering food, for example, I'll, or I'll buying be honest. stuff? I'll be honest. I felt comfortable for about two hours. And then my host mom presented me with a plate of, like, feast food. And I said, this is not that bad. This is not that bad. And then she's like, you know, we like meat and potatoes in this house. And I said, we're going to get along. And everything was okay. That is great. So Agreed. how do you find the way out when you are in trouble, like when you don't know what to do or what to say, or at the beginning you had those troubles probably? That's what, that's exactly why it's important to have a host mom or a host family, because that's what facilitates your knowledge rushing and how to get, you work through things, you use the words that you do know, and then your host mom tells you exactly what you wanted to say in one word. And you, you used like three sentences to say something. And you remember that word because you're embarrassed. And that's just how your mind works. You know, the more embarrassed you are, the more likely you are to remember the word. I mean, oh, I'm so embarrassed that time. Like, that's exactly what I needed to say. Now you know this one word that you tried to explain in three sentences. And it's, yeah, I mean, like Brent said, you know, you're like, oh, my host mom, like, is she going to like me? Is she going to let me go out with friends? What's it going to be like? And then they just walk into your room and present you with a massive feast of just, like, potatoes, chicken, pickles that they grew in their dacha. You're easily yeah. bought with it's food, just, huh? It's just, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't eat it all, you're, you're, if you don't eat it all, you're, you're, you're unhealthy, in the doghouse. You're, you're unhealthy. unhealthy. You're unhealthy. You're unhealthy. <laughs> you're unhealthy. You're unhealthy. You're unhealthy. That's, you know, what's, what's wrong with you? You're not eating all my food. And you just, it's amazing. It's, it's really a, a pretty, like, amazing experience. You, you go away from home, you go away from your parents, you're used to living on your own in college, and, you know, you like with a mom, she's going to make me come home at a certain time, but you, you get in a rhythm, you learn how to live with your host mom, you learn how to do things right with her, and it's just, it becomes a really special experience. I mean, how often do you get to live with, like, another family and other than try to coexist with them? I mean, I'm lucky enough to do it for a whole year. Um, but with the semester, it's just it's just as cool. It's a very interesting experience. Okay. 